Hi, hello, my name's Than, short for Nathaniel. Today I'm going to be reviewing some new K-Beauty things that I picked up. So I picked up the 3CE Velvet Liquid Blusher. I also have three of their sheer liquid blushers that I already have a review on that I can link in the description box. I have the Wake Make um, Mix Blurring Volume Shading in number two, Soft Cool. Love the packaging. The Wake Make Soft Blurring Eye Palette in number four, Coral Blurring. I have two more of these palettes. Um, this is the first one I got, Cherish Blurring. I haven't filmed a review on this, but I've used it a few times. Um, and I just really love the packaging. And there was this big sale on All of Young. So I got the Coral Blurring and then another new one, Pure Lavender Blurring, which is just a super pale pink kind of palette. <laughs> But today I'll use the coral one. And then I literally have so many cushions to review that I am struggling to decide which one I'm gonna do today. I think I'm gonna do this one. This is the Kill Cover, Cleo Kill Cover Foundwear Cushion All New. So this is a newer version of their Kill Cover Cushion. Um, I have the Glow Fitting All New or something like that. And I got these a while ago. I think I got them like last year maybe. I don't know, I feel like I was trying them and wasn't crazy about them, so then I never reviewed them. But I, the other day, <laughs> I did like a side-by-side. -side. So I did the glowy one on this side and then the matte one on this side. And I felt like the matte one looked better and I feel like I remember liking the glowy one more. I don't know, like my thoughts are just like, it was so long ago, I have no, I have no clue. So yeah, I just want to revisit this, especially because I ordered the new um, vegan cushion from Cleo, so I want to kind of get at least one of these in my mind so I have something to compare the new one to. I have the shade uh, 1.5 BP Fair. I'm freaking breaking out. I think it's because I've been using this uh, Dermalogica Dynamic Skin Recovery SPF 50 um, for the past two days and I feel like it's breaking me out because I have like this situation, this situation, my fucking forehead. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Glossier Future Dew to prime a little. Um, the puff doesn't feel like particularly uh, luxurious or anything. Um, and the case is a little bit, I don't know, it's a little uh, cheapy feeling. The cushion itself is like a pretty firm type cushion, firm sponge type. Let's see how it covers this spot. Whoa, okay, I feel like this has a lot more coverage than I remember. I just wore this the other day and I thought it looked amazing, but I don't remember, maybe I just used less of it? Definitely has way more coverage than I remember and even more than the other day, I must have just used like a really tiny amount. Looks pretty good though. It's a little bit light maybe. I'm gonna put some down my neck for sure. So I just used my sponge here to kind of like smooth everything over and just pick up any excess product. I think it looks really good on the larger planes in my face. Looks good on my chin. Actually looks pretty good on my upper lip too right now. Kind of surprised. And it actually looks super smooth under my eyes. My nose, mm, like it looks good, but super close up. I feel like it's making my nose pores look a little weird, just super close up. Okay, I just wanna try this velvet blusher before I go in with the contour and powder and things. Um, this is the shade Ride For Me. This is it here. I was testing a bunch of lip tints earlier, but this is the shade here. It's that kind of light warm, that popular light warm pink that I keep fucking talking about. <laughs> it's weird, it definitely has a velvet texture. I feel like as soon as I'm kind of swiping it on my hand, it's like turning into like a powder almost. So I guess I'm gonna kind of just do a few dots. Just gonna see how this goes with my finger. Blending a lot nicer than I expected. And it definitely has this like kind of soft velvet finish. I'm gonna try
try building a little bit more. It's very buildable. And I'm liking the color <laughs> more than I thought I would do. It's a bit brighter on the cheeks than it looks on my hand, no? I feel like it is. With the puff, I'm not picking up any extra product. I'm just gonna try to like, go over a bit here. Okay, with my Eno Chige Pro from Sonia G, I'm gonna take a bit of the Pat McGrath under eye powder. Now, this contour powder, um, let's see. Number two, soft cool again. Um, let me hold it up to a couple of my other K-Beauty contours that I love. This is the Peri Para Ink V Shading Powder in number three, Hazel Gray. Looks like the Wake Make one is even lighter, I think. Yeah, just a smidge lighter. It's more so like, a mix of these two shades on the end here. This one is a bit deeper and cooler than the shades that are in, in the Wake Make. This is the um, Romand Better Than Shape Powder in number one Oat Grain. Looks like the Romand is slightly, a little bit more yellowish, at least in the lighter one. I mean, they're very similar, just slightly, slightly different. And then I have one more. This is the Etude Contour Powder in number one creator. And again, the Wake Make, I think the Wake Make is the lightest of all the ones that I have. Huh. I feel like the Etude one is more of a bronzer on me. They can all kind of be bronzery, but we'll see how this goes. It feels very smooth to the touch. Here's both the shades swirled together on my finger. Of course, taking my beloved um, Shakuta Angled Face Brush. I'm gonna kind of do a mixture of both because that's kind of how I use these powders. With the brush, not an absurd amount of kick, kick up or anything. I mean, it looks fine. Definitely got the job done. Um, I like the texture. It's very smooth. I think there also might be a slight sheen in it compared to the others. So these are swatches of some of the other ones. So the, up here is the Wake Make. This is the um, Etude, uh, Peri Para, and then Romand. Just kind of all swirled together. It's definitely the lightest of them all. And yeah, I feel like it has just a slight sheen, very minimal sheen. Definitely not visible on the face. Okay, so this palette I'm gonna start with the Sonia G Blender Pro. I'm gonna go into this super light, sort of grayish matte over here, which is called um, Ash. A bit powdery, nothing like crazy, but there is some kick up. not a very pigmented shade and these in general aren't very pigmented shadows that kind of goes for all K beauty shadows they're usually a lot softer than what we're used to I'm gonna go to this mat now here which is called rose blur okay I can definitely see this one a bit more Taking my short handle Bisciotto brush into the rose blur. Now I'm going into this cooler, darker matte called Smoky Brown. Now I'm going into the deepest color in the corner called End. Oh my God, I love these shade names. <laughs> and I'm using the Worker 3. Ooh, this shade seems particularly um, kick-up-y, so I feel like this is gonna be pretty pigmented as well. 
Oh, it's a lot more chocolatey um, on the eyes than it is in the palette, more warm. And it's pigmented, but it's keeping that kind of soft quality as well. Oh, I really like this. It's blurring, you know? Now, I'm gonna take the corally metallic shade in this end called Coral Chip. And then going into the lighter metallic called Gold Rush. like these colors together too. Going into this sequin shade here with my large Chicahoto brush, it's like a cream matte and it has some gold flecks in there. It's called Lace. Taking some of Lace on my short Biscotto brush. Then I'm gonna go back into that ash shade, that light sort of barely there matte. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more shadow here. I'm gonna use the Peri Para Black Milk Tea Brown um, Ink Cara, I think it's called. And this is the Peri Para Tatam collab version. This is a really good mascara. Use it a few times recently and yeah, it's really good. Charlotte Tilbury Soft Brown Legendary Brow Gel. lips, I'm going to go with um, the Amuse Dew Tint in Dew Baksunga. I have the Romand um, Hombok Highlighter. What's the shade called? Mm. I'm not sure what this shade is called, but it has something to do with the sun, <laughs> I feel. Wayne Goss Airbrush. Okay, I think that's it. So let's zoom in and we'll go over my final thoughts. start with the cushion. So I do have some minor on dry creasing, um, but it's nothing like terrible at all. It's really not. Um, like from normal distance, can barely see it. I really have to look up close. Forehead, not really creasing bad at all. And no smile line creasing. A little bit of gathering by my nose. It looks really smooth on my cheeks, my chin. Upper lip a little bit weird, but I had to shave my mustache like twice today. There was this whole shaving situation going on and I was, I don't know, I kept washing my face and ugh, it was, there was a lot of things happening in my face today. <laughs> I think the future do as a primer was definitely beneficial. I feel like it would be even better with the give oil underneath because it's a little, just a little bit more nourishing than the future do. But it does look very smooth. It's not emphasizing texture really, you know. Has really decent coverage, way fuller than I was expecting. It's not like full full. I mean, of course my blemishes are still coming through a bit of my redness, but more than I expected. And I just tried it the other day. I don't, I don't know, I guess I just didn't use a lot. I feel like that's the one thing with cushions is 
kind of, I guess there's a learning curve with just figuring out how much product to use, you know what I mean? Overall, I definitely like this more than the first time I tried it like a year ago. I don't think I like it more than the Amuse Meta Fixing Cushion. That one is just so good. I love that cushion so much. I wore it to work again recently and it just lasted so nicely. This blush, I'm definitely surprised at. Um, I Honestly, when it came and I was swatching it, I just thought based on how it was kind of going onto my hand, that I wasn't gonna really like it on the face. It was just a little streaky. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the kind of stiff doe foot. It's the same one that's in the sheer uh, 3C blusher or whatever, the sheer liquid blusher. Just very stiff and I mean, it's, it's good. I said this in my first review, I think, but it's good if you, you know, to control how much you want because you really can't get a lot out of it. Um, you can just do like a few dots. Actually, I think this one blends better than the, the sheer liquid version and I don't know It just has a very soft quality and it wasn't streaky at all I thought it, I thought it was gonna be streaky, but it, it just wasn't and the color was a little bit brighter on the on the cheeks Which I like yeah overall just soft pretty Really like this the amuse liquid blush that I tried recently um, is kind of like in between this velvet one and the other sheer one and it's not as matte as this one. And I think also the 3 CE is a bit more pigmented, but it's not like crazy pigmented or anything. <laughs> and this palette, I do really like. I think actually this is probably gonna end up being my favorite of the other two that I have. I don't know, I feel like you can get a lot more depth out of this one than the other two. I mean, I don't know, There's there are some deeper shades in the Cherish palette, but I don't know, I guess just different vibes overall. And I actually don't hate this sequin shade. Usually I hate sequin shades, but this one is not bad. And it's definitely blurring. The mattes are definitely blurring. They're very soft, blendable, not patchy. They're very smooth. And uh, this Wake Make contour is great. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's not super different really from all the other ones that I have. They're all really smooth. They're all a nice, cool shade. This one is the lightest. Out of all four of them, I'd say in terms of packaging, probably the Etude one has the best packaging, then the Wake Make, then the Roman, then the Peripera, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I like all of them. <laughs> so far, I haven't really found one that I dislike. All great options and similarly priced. So that's all for today. I definitely have many more K-Beauty reviews coming in the near future because I just have so many cushions to review. Oh my God, it's crazy. I have like, I think five more that I need to do videos on. So it's a lot. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and ring the bell to so notified every single time that I upload a new video. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Pretty Earth and Graham. Follow me on Newness. You're notified every single time I'm doing a live stream. I did mention on my community page that I'm kind of brainstorming ideas for new kinds of videos to put on my channel. Um, but yeah, I do still have lots of things to review. So I don't know when I'm gonna start kind of innovating and changing it up. Um, I might just like throw in a ranking video or something next week. I don't really know. But I do know that I still have lots of stuff to review, so. We'll see, but thanks everyone for all of your suggestions and definitely gonna be doing like a skincare video or two. So yeah, there's new stuff coming all around. <laughs> new reviews, new types of videos, new, new, new. Okay, <laughs> goodbye.